the best of R&R's first 15 years, featuring selected highlights of radio's greatest moments and personalities. Memories are made of this. Bob Surratt's radio station beat my radio station, but nobody beats me. I haven't received okay. any kind of uh, concession telegram from Larry oh, yeah. either. So, I am uh, alive and well, and at the moment, I'm playing the world's most beautiful music. <laughs> uh, all day and all night. So how are you? You haven't belched yet. No, not yet. Did you belch on the radio? No. Uh, oh, excuse me. <laughs> Pardon me. It slipped. I'm not allowed to do that anymore. Other gross noises? I pioneered belching on the air. Other gross noises? <laughs> it's not I, the family hour. Go ahead, Fred. Sure. I've pooped <laughs> into the microphone during Lyle Dean's newscast. I pulled the microphone down to my fanny and pooped. I... <laughs> on the air. What do you think of that? I think there goes the license. That's right. A lot of bleeping on the show, folks. <laughs> Look what a clean-cut young man you're working with. How do you feel about a guy wearing you know, a three-piece matching suit and shiny shoes and so on? Is he, is he discrediting rock radio? God, he's pretty. So let us meet uh, Dick and Doug, Dick Saint and Doug Dahlgren, and it is a pleasure to have you both here. Are you still a team? I want a divorce. The big difference in B100, though, is the amount of fun and involvement we have. A good time, do you? Sure. Everybody has a good time? Everybody has a good time. Everybody has the whole staff? Everybody! It is like one thing. You mean it's just like one thing. You mean it's like one thing. B100 San Diego, making history in Southern California with the best stereo boogie. Not to mention instant winners for Steve Miller, Fly Like an Eagle albums, and Steve Miller concert tickets. They were right down to the wire. That concert is tomorrow night. Stand by to win your way in. A little before 8.30 in the nighttime with Jane. KFM, BFM, San Diego, Shotgun Tom Kelly in the morning. Good morning, baby. How you feeling? Oh, you know, I'm feeling really good this morning as we get up and boogie the right way. Have mercy. It's Fleetwood Mac. I got their new tune coming up in a minute. Queen and announcing Led Zeppelin. And good luck getting tickets. You can hear about them, though, and win your way into them instantly here at B100. Hey, why don't we give away a t shirt? Eleven Barkley t shirt. You call 5201 KFI. I've been thinking about my retirement this morning. <laughs> you, you must have seen the last ratings. <laughs> I am the morning DJ at WOA. 603, Earth, Wind, and Fire on the queue. This is Charlie Tuna on LA's only rock and roll radio station. It is Wednesday morning. It's one minute past seven at KRLA Pasadena. In my contract, it was more writing it so they could change my name, which they did. So I became Michael Scotland in Scotland's Yard, picking him up and laying him down from 12 midnight to 6 a.m. on the boss of the bay, KYA. The music station is 13 white. WIFE in Indianapolis, ready to make you one of more than 1,000 winners. So about a minute before one or two. <laughs> I've got you by a long stretch. The music station is 13 wide. WIFE in Minneapolis ready to make you one of more than a thousand winners. It's a little bit after 2 o'clock. Diane Shannon. Hi. Would you like a job in the swinging, swirling world of radio broadcasting? You could be just like me. All right. This is Showbiz. We'll be back in a couple minutes, everybody. So reach into our pocket. Where do we keep it? Whip it out and look at it. Ugh. 89 WLA. John Lane back here with time. And this is Cabrini Deans, and the enormous, but not too gaudy, 89. Who was that mad man? WLS, the Rock of Chicago, rules the Midwest. 1970, it is classic stuff. Zeppelin, a whole lot of love. Tom Gray, WLS. WLS first with the best new album releases. You wanted ACDC, so we've arranged for advanced copies of Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap. Not in the stores yet, but you can win a free copy in minutes. Just listen up for the touch tone. What they say to air is human. 
but it feels divine. Show me the way. It's Peter Frampton at L.S. The more the music changes, the more you'll like us. 98.5 FM K-O-M-E Everybody rock and roll the play This is the way rock was done ever since the first progressive radio station began right here in San Francisco. But over 20 years, rock and roll has changed. And all across the country, stations like this one are either changing format or dying. KSFX is dying. It just means that radio, as everything in the 80s, is changing. But one thing you can count on. The letters may change, the numbers may change, but FM will always rock. Music Radio for the Motor City. We are WFBX Joint, 7 o'clock. I'm BJ Hunter. I don't care what they do to me. I ain't never going to give up. Oh, yeah. I always used to wonder how those newsmen at CKLW used to get that ballsy CKLW. 2020 News, and that's what's happening today, April 4th, 1962. What the hell is that? A perfect country and western song, ladies and gentlemen of the Q Morning Zoo. Nobody can do it like we do it. I'm ready for Wall Street. This is Fifth Avenue, right? Is this is. This is Gucci. I'm ready to go. Today, it was a time to cry. There's always, here's life after Scott. Our elephant is loose again. Uh, no, no, Z100, 1036. Let's go to the phone to see if anyone remembers Joey Reynolds. How about Detroit? Would you go to Detroit? No, I got off the plane there, and it says Detroit Terminal, and I believe it. What station oh. did we rescue you from? CBS FM. Oh, my <laughs> God. He's Bob. I'm Bob. And he's Tom. And I'm Tom. Bob, interesting news item here. What is it, Tom? San Francisco's gay Jewish congregation, Shah Arzahov, has dedicated its new synagogue. This is true. With two members engaging in the ceremonial blowing of the ram's horn. <laughs> oh, Bruce! Bruce! Where's that damn ram? You got one hundred dollars. Rock in the universe, twenty-four hours a day. This is the new Z ninety-five stereo AM and FM WLS. Six, I'm Brant Miller. You can go to the World's Fair with Fred Winston. You're not married, sir. Nobody would marry a man who talks like you. 101, Kibo Bryson says, I'm sorry that during our first relationship, I beat you and uh, stole your purse and slept with your sister, but if you'll give me one more chance, I'll do it right this time. We abuse a 50,000-watt radio station with coverage into nine states. We talk about what we want, we entertain ourselves, and if someone listens, so much the better. If you'd like to help this poor man, call us, if you will, okay? It's 749-3420. We realize we're not Howard Stern, but this ain't New York either. We don't have a lot of transsexuals here. And my, What's your name, dude? My name's Ari Volo. I'm here. Scott Shannon, man, said we uh, could come in and do a video air check of your show tonight, man. I don't know anything about it, man. I don't allow people oh, in here. Not on. when I'm ready. Come on. C100, free money, music monitor. Yeah, I'll tell you what, baby. It's time to play the hippest game in the city, baby doll. I'm looking for the 100th caller. Radio America. B100. It's the Ross Britton Soul Injection. Serving the universe from Cleveland, the rock and roll capital of the world, WMMS. That is Clarence Frogman Henry, and it was ripped off by Rod Stewart. I beg your pardon. That is, ain't got a home, is it, Doc? Yes, it is. Oh, oh, oh. I'm a lonely frog. I ain't got a home. You know that? No one remembers that but me for some reason. <laughs> WCZY, or as the station is now affectionately known as Z95.5, after about five format changes in the last year and a half. We are now a, uh, what are we, Doctor? Uh, contemporary Hit Radio, CHR. Thank you, CHR. And uh, in other words, we give a lot of money away and play some real bad music. <laughs> <laughs> You know what happened with the with the, just now the Howard Stern, right? Hey, you know hey, you know, I'm getting hot now. Let's get rid of this. I'm uh, the front. Uh, Holy uh, cow. Please, I need this gig. I need the money. It's called economic frustration. I just bought a new car, American. Please check me out. New dive, do five. 
Now, we're in Afro and get a big discount. That's what I do. Get down to new bedding from Canon, the same people who help you get your sheets together. Hey, this is Howard Hoffman and the switch is on for the newer, fresher hit music. Coming up this hour, I'll be bringing you Phil Collins and Phil Bailey, Brian Adams, Prince, and more! Oh, oh my God! Yeah. And, Phil, I just gotta tell you one thing. You are look marvelous. 518 at the all-new all-hit 106 KMEL. Thank you for making the switch here in Chicago. You're the inspiration. Hallelujah. Somebody in the studio with us today. With a camera. Art. Art, come. He, he wants to find out what the Kelly and Clyde show is all about. So he misses the whole first three hours of the show because he can't get out of bed. <laughs> and then he comes to watch us do this. Come on, all right, give me a break, will you? And we're going to be on, where, where is this going? We're going to be on videotape. Where is it going? It goes to other disc jockeys who don't really care much about us. Yeah, who cares, right? <laughs> Looking on the schedule here and it says 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., 5.30 a.m. to 10 a.m., not 9.58. That's like the movie FM. Get back in here. It is almost 10. Folks at the South Bay's radio station, I'm Chuck Gardner. Good morning. Gilroy's Band of Day. You know whether they point or not? I, I, oh, oh, okay, third turn. Okay. Let's go on to the North 40 for this one on FM 102. <laughs> Guest DJ, Big Jim Hall, my good buds, Kenny and Nelly. We are Northern California's number one country music station, 1140 Radio, K-R-A-K. What a great song to play just before Christmas as you look at those kids, want to put an incredible smile on their face. Thank God for kids with the Oak Ridge Boys in crap country. K-R-A-K, Sacramento. I am a redneck. Yeah. I am a yeah. I do listen to Gary. Yeah. Yeah. In the old days of radio, they never had these things. We call them pop filters now. You know what they are? They're prophylactics. And now that we use them, that's why there's such a shortage of good disc jockeys. These things are stopping all the wires from getting through. <laughs> Don't get on you do twice for a nice to be a poor more poor to be very nice at all. Hang out, dragging a sand and make a deep rub me people glass houses shouldn't have burning hammocks, hard to blow nose one good turn they spot to the blanket, you need a horse to water, but don't push him in nothing spells you work that I went horsing, lead horse to water, push him in, teach your back throat, and you really got something. Watch space in the morning, naked night, love is life, life is love, light your own cattle world, be not sure to place, get in your rope, trying a lot, hang out a swing, stay calm, try to adjust you can't live with them or without them. And he who who he don't let your six gun get rusty, it's been a bit of doing place you and remember, it's been real. Y'all love you. And it's went like that, but I did it without the gum then. Well, with any luck at all, in about a minute it'll be 6 o'clock and I'll still be Jack Armstrong. And I'll still be riding home with you in the main gorilla. On the Southern California Flame from our... I did a, a thing at the station I worked for at that particular time, which was B100 here in San Diego, and that's... Where you saw it at a yes, convention. Yes, right at the R&R &R convention, Radio and Records sponsored. Yeah. And, uh, of course, Radio Records, the Bible of the industry. I am a DJ, I am what I play. Can't turn around, keep turn around, oh no. I am a DJ, I am what I play. I've got the Levi, Levi. BC, 929. I have a set of money. A lot of entertaining on the radio. I'm not disgusting. I'm not dirty. I'm not going to rape your daughter. The music, obviously, is secondary. We play four records an hour, maybe five. We're supposed to play about eight. <laughs> listen to talk shows. Howard who? Being a communicator does not give you the license to be tacky. You're on the air. Oh, here we go. Here we go. You know, I have three young children at home. That's right, Howard. And what, don't you think it's terrible that you talk about lesbians and homosexuals on the air? <laughs> being on radio, being a communicator, does not give you the license to be tacky uh, or distasteful. What we do on the radio is comedy. Mm -hmm. There is about 1% of the audience who, who, who misses the whole boat. The first woman disc jockey to make it big is also at WNEW AM. Allison Steele paved the way for other women in broadcasting, but often paid a price. Nobody was ready for women on radio. It was phone calls of a get that broad off the air. <laughs> oh, play that saxophone, baby! 
94.7 WLS-FM. One more night with Phil Collins, I'll pass. <laughs> 591-9470. That's our telephone number. We'll be happy to play something for you. Hey! Hey! WLS, the first 25 years of the Rock of Chicago. It's our birthday special. That you know, For those of you who enjoy a little static with your music and conversation, <laughs> uh, JJ will be segueing over to uh, Studio E, where Fred Winston awaits his arrival. Remind him that he's still stuck. <laughs> And That's the story. Yeah. And and she uh, she was going to get a ticket, and she said, uh, uh, "Couldn't I buy a ticket to the state police ball?" And the officer said, "I'm sorry, <laughs> the state police don't have balls." We'll right. discuss this later. But two value hardware stores recommend the Sharp Carousel Two Microwave because. It's small enough to fit nearly anywhere. Oh, oh While you, it's, you can put it any place you'd like? Any place. place. No, no kidding. <laughs> While it's one cubic foot capacity handles a 1,200-pound turkey. Now, long oh, with three, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, no, 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 I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. In this building. <laughs> no, no. No, I goofed on that. Yes, that's, you a, did. <laughs> that's a 12-pound turkey. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now wait a minute. Can you imagine this is the, serious. the size of it? It is. Giblets on when that turkey. When did it get serious? <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about giblets. Yes. <laughs> Now, this is the 1972 WLS that I remember. This is Joel Denver, the CHR editor for Radio and Records, the industry's newspaper here at the 25th anniversary of WLS, the big, enormous 89 in Chicago. And now we... Huh? It didn't suck as much as... <laughs> okay, it actually has been a hell of a lot of fun. Copied it, and they came up through the radio, and then all of a sudden, the radio sounded like the same old radio has been sounded for years and years and years and years and years, even though somebody claimed he was doing personality, he was still playing jingles, still doing touchdowns, still taking the 15th call, still talking over records, and all of a sudden, when somebody was really different, somebody doesn't do that anymore. They come along. Well, they score big. We copied the people from the 60s. So now they're probably, you know, in the next 10 years, there's going to be about 9 million little Stephen Gary clones. And, and then they'll come in, they'll come in, and then 25 years from now, some guy can talk over records real loud and play touchdowns. is going to be new way. Is this as bad as comedians <laughs> I'm telling you. sitting around figuring out what's funny? We're at WNIC, Dearborn, Michigan, just on the edge of Detroit, for a Motor City reunion. Uh, Art. Is, uh, is in here, believe it or not, videotaping me, which I find hard to believe. You know, I look a lot better on the radio. I can, are the ratings going up when I do that? I can't tell. Stupid brother! Two Detroit youths? Well, they didn't make it home today. They were scraped off the pavement with a spatula. What <laughs> right? Stay tuned. Details are coming up on CKLW. Twenty. <laughs> My roommate just walked in. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Let's have the real thing. You mean this just in? This just in? <laughs> uh, sitting, believe it. Sitting in the back parking lot, you know, sitting here, and uh, I'm hearing you guys uh, use my name in vain. What time is it? Give me a little more mic. Give me a little more level. Seven o'clock. I can't say it, the big eight, can I? <laughs> I won't say it, the big eight, baby. <laughs> I promise, babe, I won't say it. Give me the phone. It's one o'clock. I'm here, Mama. I am here, I promise you. Time is a little tight, but I am here. Booker T and the MGs. Get it. Do a station ID, don't I? Yes, yes. Uh, this is identification of the station. It is a nice uh, brick building. You come inside. <laughs> it's lovely in here. Oh, boy. If Paul Drew could only hear me now. Huh? <laughs> one more mistake, and it's the all-night show. The Detroit Reunion Weekend. Well, it's just after 4 o'clock, and as always, I'm starting late, right? A couple minutes in. And I thought we'd roll some music from the year I was around. That was the big chill time. Remember this? It's TV on Monday. That's right. The high point of your week arrives. It's TV on Monday with Bob and Tom. That's a Bob and Tom. W-F-A-Q. Indianapolis. Now, here's what's happening at the beach. Well, what is happening? Why be honky when you can be punky, huh? Lakeview High School is playing their 20th reunion for the class of 65. Them people are old, let me tell you. Call us live for more information right now. Cracking up 30 minutes of continuous all hit music with Invincible from Pat Benatar. All hit. It's exactly 8.16. I'm glad you turned on the radio. Radio? I didn't turn on the radio. Oh, here he is, folks. It's showtime. Look at the phone. 
I'm telling you, look at them die. <laughs> they die just like the last bit. <laughs> you know, Steve, I sit here with my contacts on looking handsome every day, and one day a guy comes in with a TV camera, national notoriety to tape us, and I... Did You're talking about in. Art Volo, who is here from the Air Shack Factory. Yes, yes I noticed why. I wondered why you didn't wear your tuxedo today, which normally you would be wearing. Well, I forgot I was coming in, and so I, I didn't wear my contacts, and I wore my glasses. And now all my friends around the country are going to say, Roach is getting old, he can't see. <laughs> Jimmy, I hate to tell you, they've been saying that for you. In 97.1 KEGL, this is Joe Folger. We'll have those results from our sex survey in just a few minutes here at the Eagle. It's Brian Adams. In a one-night love affair. But when you see what this guy can do without even being able to see, runs his own board and everything, I think you're going to be impressed as we were. I think everybody's ready. We'll do a half hour of continuous music, starting it off with Wham! and Freedom from 97 FM. Bernie Eagan, WNS. You just played the money song? That's right. Am I the right caller? You call her number nine. You just won $1,000. Oh, my gosh. I don't believe it. You are $1,000 richer from 97 FM. <laughs> one song. One phone call. $1,000. We're at Studios at the new Landmark Center. We're W-E-N-S. Shelbyville, Indianapolis, and Greenwood, 97 FM. It's uh, kind of checking out exactly how I do things. I know a lot of people are curious. They're just afraid to ask. Hello, Frigno was there. <laughs> and uh, I'll tell you, Leslie is so skinny that Lou was mixing his drink with her. You know that, my oh, darling. Fernando. <laughs> you know, I would give my right arm to be ambidextrous. <laughs> 63, get off the car machine. I'm next. Tuesday night, fair and cool, low 43. Wednesday, mostly sunny and warmer in a high 67. Next, Andy St. And John. And right is now, next. here he is, Andy St. John at WLKI. Are you ready? I am ready. FM 100 is WLKI. And all at 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock in Ohio and Michigan with Andy St. John playing more of your favorite hits. I don't normally wear these things, but you see... I have a problem. We're talking black eyes here. My first wife did this to me. It's not pretty. Not pretty at all. So if you're in a radio and you're married, forget it. Get rid of them right now before they, uh, you know, take advantage of you and beat you with a rolling pin or something. K-U-B-E. As I understand how this thing works, the object is to make all of these meters go as far to the right as possible. And this is something that you really should see. This is, uh, although it's been extensively modified, the very first 50,000-watt transmitter ever built. As you may know, WLW was not only the first 5,000-watt station, it was the first 50,000-watt station and the first 500,000-watt station. This is uh, going to be kind of hard to get in one picture. Largest commercial transmitter ever built. Operated here from 1933 through 39. It's a half a million watts, and uh, actually that's not true. It's a 750-kilowatt transmitter. It loafed along at a half a million, and it's been pushed to well over a million several times. Thank you, Randy Michaels, for that tour of the big one, WLW. Don't you find it fascinating that one of the shortest guys and broadcasting works at the big one? I do. From our new state-of-the-art studios in the rock and roll capital of the world, this is the flame-throwing buzzer. WMMS. Cleveland. From Edward MTV shows, your rock and roll isn't all fiction and fantasy. Hey, good evening, everybody. It's me, Denny Sanders, all the way until 10 o'clock tonight here at MMS. I got a great night planned, and as soon as I get the show out of the way, we'll be all set. Serving 40 counties, three states, two countries, and you, WMMS. Cleveland. All right, you guys. Goldberg, this is one for you. Oh, good. Lay it on me. Hear about the man from Murray Hill who married a woman cook who was half Italian and half Jewish. No. no. She made great spaghetti, but she didn't make enough. Ah! Detroit's home of rock and roll, WIF, baby. <laughs> the 101 and only, WRIF, Detroit's only real rock and roll radio station, doing a tour in the Motor City with ZZ Top. <laughs> I dreamt of this day that you would come to our radio station, Art Volo, and his video air checks. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen. I think I'll go out and commit suicide now. My life is over with. The new KC 99 FM welcomes the Judds, Mama Judd and Baby Judd. It's 6 o'clock at KIIS FM and AM. Los Angeles. I was busy here. With Robert W. 
and dire straits on Magic 106. Come all the way down here to this morning so we get some guy who's taping this so they can, everybody in like Peoria and Indianapolis can see how they do it in the big time here. This is it? This is it. Let's <laughs> well, see how they do it in the big time. <laughs> the B Morning Zoo. <laughs> Over two average quarter hours, we brought back more memories of Toledo, including old transvestite bars, old disc jockeys, and old radio stations like Woho. But the population of Toledo doesn't equal the cum of B100. <laughs> this has been the B Morning Zoo. Member FDIC. Don't rain on our parade. Well, don't parade in our rain. Gang, gang, the hail's out here. We have them the foggiest. 100.7 KFM, BFM, San Diego's official FM station of the California Lottery with a winner every 100 minutes only here on B100. Holy mackerel, what a show! Yeah, KFM, BFM, San Diego's official FM station of the California Lottery with a guaranteed winner every 100 minutes. And of course, it only happens here in San Diego on B100. 76 KFM, BA Larson with Lightner. Lightner with all the sports coming up here at 515 this afternoon. 315 now, we go to the phones for the amazing answer, man. We tape off the air so you don't have to. Southern Nevada's original rocker, 92.3. KOMP Las Vegas. Go home. Take you there. On 92 KOMP. Jeez, can you believe this? How long has it been since you played one of these? Been watching this video air check of Tad Swenson now, and you're wondering, who does this guy look like anyway? Know what I mean, Vern? Pure commercial and better music. 96 KPKE, Denver. And for all you other cocky disc jockeys out there somewhere, maybe watching this going, I want to do that too. Just stay calm, kiss your mom, band the bomb, do the best you can. Remember, God loves you, man. Or be cracked, be saved, yet well behaved. Thank you, bud. Too bad this ain't TV. 96 KPKE, Denver's better music station. On the run through 51 minutes and non-stop better music. This hour, I'm going to do something about you from Little 42. In excess, what you need. And running like speed through my hero's music. Ooh, Robert <laughs> Here's JCM, a little ROTK in the USA and KPKE. You know, I got yeah. blues in my heart. Let me go to the phones. Yeah. Damn. Denver 95. Countdown America is is the son of the Casey Kasem show. Mm. Do your Casey Kasem. Oh, I will. <clears throat> I got to get a little more phlegm. <laughs> I was very happy you came in this morning, and I wanted so very much to meet you because when I see you in Hollywood, and I'm usually asking for money on the street corner because you're <laughs> kicking my butt in the countdown ratings. Uh, Dr. Ruth, he kept undressing me with his eyes. Uh huh. Dr. Ruth, can I get pregnant when a man undresses me with his eyes? Mm. Only if he's cockeyed. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say that Art Volos here making some pornographic movies. That's why I'm wearing my blue shirt. <laughs> <laughs> maybe there's, may, I don't know, maybe uh, maybe there's some kind of decency league that will not allow them to say rubber <laughs> over the PA system. I, yeah. I know all the I know all the tires are made of rubber, mm-hmm. yeah. but maybe they're taking it in the literal sense to mean, of course, something yeah, else yeah. like a birth control device. Mm-hmm. But Tom, if you were to slip an Indy 500 tire over your crotch, that is a birth control <laughs> device, let me tell you. <laughs> Continue. Yeah. Dick. I wonder if they replace his heart with a gallstone, if his body will still work. NBC Television has signed Playtex Girdles as a sponsor for Meet the Press. Oh. They'll, they'll change the name to Press the Meat. Yeah. The sponsor of Up Your News, Dodger Burnsville, is in no way responsible for what Heinz and Berglund just said. Oh, we don't even know these guys. Art will use that back at the hotel. You want me? I was with the best in town today. Huh? Slip off that Z95 you see what, sweatshirt. You see where I bust around those nips over at the CES? Uh, uh, about the beta thing? Uh, you, you Mark my words, baby. Beta is never going to go out of production now. Because I'll tell you what, I jerked those nips around good. Oh, Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> Put your camera on the tripod and get over Arthur, here. Arthur, there's a big rat in the corner of the room. You know I don't like to spend money on hotel rooms. Yeah, but Z, compliments of Z100. Well, they're the, they're WZ. Are, they are the station in New York that's doing the promotion. Oh, well, what's the station here? 
Twice. Attempt to read while driving. I put it on there twice. Yeah, that's my favorite line. <laughs> you know, Art, it's so good to be safety conscious like this. Like you'd be reading that and driving yeah. through the desert. <laughs> Honey, I can <laughs> Oh, he's dead. Look, the steering wheel went right through his, his skull. He was just trying to find a station to listen to. That's all. So we're going to go straight over to Craig Hunt, right? He is next. The music leader. KDWB. Oh, yeah, I'm fired up about the new one from Steve Winwood. You too. All right. I love it. Along with Chaka Khan, we're talking higher love. Oh, yeah. Back home to Minnesota. KDWB FM. Westfield, Minneapolis, St. Paul. It's five o'clock. They know your car starts. I want to go home. Now, coming to you live from that place we call Chicago, from high atop the downtown Burger King, WLX said, hey, another exciting episode in the never-ending story of John Landecker and his job. 89 WLX. Chicago. I can't sing it, and I got them, they're doing this on videotape, and I'm blowing it, and I don't like it. I mention that because I know all the high-profile management types that will probably see this. I am so much better than what you saw, you can't believe it. And actually, what was on the tape here, probably not bad. Remember that, if the gig here fails, because how many AM stations are there anymore that are a success at all? Uh, I think we can count them on one hand, perhaps. Good morning, 58 WDBO, coming up on 655, five minutes till 7 o'clock. Later this morning, a cash call, $458 is what you need to know. 58 WDBO. It's 7 o'clock. You know, it's great when you're on the air and you can do these things without thinking and hope that your program director never sees it. Uh, hi, I am Paul W. Smith. It is a pleasure to be with you from, as Doug put it, the golden tower of the Fisher Building. We are, without question, the great voice of the Great Lakes. I'm just now going well over 50,000 watts. I have to bring it down here just a little bit. Good morning and a very pleasant uh, Thursday to you. It is the last day in April and a beautiful morning. Thank you, God. What a gorgeous day. The sky is absolutely baby blue like your eyes. The hell with seat belts, and if you wreck them, we'll get a new one. And if they're big enough, you're probably not going to get hurt anyway. And that's why we left it on the Nina and the Pit and the Santa Marias to get away from them stupid little small foreign cars and drive them big hogs. It's the American way of life. I see a baby to kiss. Can she get this baby for me to kiss up here? <sighs> Hell, I missed the baby. Welcome aboard Northwest Flight 360 nonstop service to Buffalo and the KB reunion. This place is backed up like a cheap toilet. And he says, you're an idiot. You have absolutely no talent. What do you know about broadcasting? I said, well, you couldn't get ratings any more than you can raise hair, you bald fool. <laughs> so it went on like that. He says, you're fired. I said, you can't fire me. You're not my boss. He said, well, then your boss is fired. I said, off with everybody's head. <laughs> is that right? That's yeah. right. Buffalo, New York. It's a suburb of Niagara Falls. I, I listen, I've been to Buffalo. The finest residents have replaced Folgers crystals with antifreeze, right? <laughs> He's such a Catholic. <laughs> How about you still going to Mass on Sunday? Oh, yeah. Did they put a bank machine on your altar yet? <laughs> You've declared every penny because when you open your wallet, Geraldo Rivera has to be president. <laughs> on comes the show. I see Bob Barker, and Rod is already reading because I can hear his voice. And you'll get a brand new, uh, whatever the line a is. A new car. Right. Yeah, that's, that's, that's it, yeah. Point. And then that's he said, he said, get. Rod, uh, Susie wants to know what kind of car is it? And the camera flashes over, and you said it's a... It's a new car, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> we never get away used cars. Okay. Realize all the damage we've done to AM radio today? Can you imagine all the people out there saying, who the hell cares about these guys? <laughs> I never liked them when I liked them. Who were Get these them off people? The radio. Where's that FM? <laughs> Give me 106, 104, 105, power, kiss, magic, zoom. In the studio with us is uh, Art, what is your name, Vol Volvo? Yeah, Volvo, right, right. Art Volvo, and you are, what are you, you're videotaping us. Yeah, we do videos of radio stations all around the country so people can see how good looking most of LA's jocks really are. Now, who do you, uh, Art, don't strain your voice and pretend you're just jockey. <laughs> he lives vicariously through others who have talent. Music power. Music power. KPWR Los Angeles. Wow. Power 106. What, why don't you talk in the right end there? The Oh my God, I have turned the microphone. <laughs> I was talking in the wrong end of the microphone. I'm very nervous this morning. Because As you can hear, there's no bongo music behind me now. There's no Jeff Wyatt. We're hoping that Jeff Wyatt will be here in just a few moments with more Star Tours tickets. And maybe tell us a little bit about the Betty Ford Drug and Rehabilitation Center that 
Hey, really, seriously, we should talk to him about that. It's Power 106. The home of more music and even more tickets to the stars in 87. Power 106. Oh, my God, that's so rad. Power 106, Wyatt on the radio on the power line, shaking people down. Thank you so much for locking in your power switch over the holidays. The all-new Hot 103, playing more of New York's precious music. Of course, I'm Bill Lee. I get paid to be amazing. The number you have reached, 98.7, is not a working number. The new number is 103.5. Please make a note of it. 96 TIC FM. This is Kathy looking for Deborah Hollins of Hartford, Connecticut. Deborah Hollins of Hartford, you have 10 minutes to call me at 247-9696. Claim your $100 bill. Register for $20,000 in cash from TIC FM. Welcome. I'm the real Bob James, and welcome to the ACN studio. We're here uh, live because Art, uh, Art is, uh, uh, that's all, folks, because Art asked me to do this, and uh, we're going to show you a little bit about ACN, I suppose, tell you a little bit about what we do. For those who don't know, uh, we produce uh, <laughs> what some might consider funny radio comedy for radio stations around the uh, country. Rumor is that the price tag is now up for well, this station alone to something around $82 million, gang. I mean, that's the highest price ever been paid for any radio station in the history of the world, and it's us. <laughs> Graham points out that that means that KBIL is worth more than the entire Dallas Cowboys franchise. Uh, wow. <laughs> now, think about that. How much did the Cowboys sell for, Mark? It's a little over $60 million. Over sixty million, and we're we're going for about eighty-two. It's amazing. There's now, an answer to that, though. There's a, what's the answer, John? We've had more winning seasons. Oh. <laughs> the other thing I'd like to have is I'd like to have one owner for twenty-five years. <laughs> 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 okay, we haven't had one for 25 minutes. You gotta take when you're leading the parade. KBIL. Hello, the Eagle. Good morning. Oops, sorry, wrong station. Oh, no. Wrong listener. Oh. Hello, the Eagle. Good morning. Ooh, I, need, oh. I need a little supervision. Hi, this is Mickey Thomas of the Jefferson Ooh. Starship. Hey, and man. it's time to get your lazy ass out of bed, because you're listening to Moby. Yeah. She's my Texas bitch. We're young and rich. She buys my clothes in Paris, France. I drive her Porsche car around to all them bars, and I'll never give that bitch a chance. No, no, no. no I'll never, never give, give that bitch, that bitch a chance. A chance. And uh, hope you're driving carefully. And are you sitting up straight? That's better. Now you look a lot better. As Bob's boss... Hi, Bob. As Bob's boss, I have been hired to do one thing, and that is not to screw up this program. <laughs> Anne Murray, and you needed me. And the time... One minute before 8 o'clock in the morning. It's the Home Shopping Network. <laughs> Regularly $20. You're going to have this for only 10 Every hand that goes up, every call that comes in, gets one of these eggs for nineteen ninety five. Can you believe that? nineteen ninety five Without the onions. Can yeah. I have a tooth? As, 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 oh, I wish we had a Is morning. that a drug joke? All right. I think it's really important to have somebody in the morning who's nice and up, and you are. Well, thank you very much, Angel. Well, keep it up, Charlie. Okay. Well, believe me, it's tough at this age. <laughs> K-R-L-A. 842. <laughs> The undersold. The real dance feel. We undersold. Make a big sign that says, make two big signs that says KRLA and put it where we can see it. Can you dig it and leave it up? I love you, baby. I love you, I love you, I love you and yours. And those two. And you and you and you and you. And especially you. <laughs> 105. Lock it in and rip the knob. I'm still wearing my Hawaiian shirt here. So. And uh, you probably will be Saturday. <laughs> Ooh, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Give me that. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, you are so macho, dude. I don't love 
California that much. <laughs> Jesus, did that stink. We uh, used to be K-Best, and the station used to be K-Hits, and used to be KGBS FM. Before that, it was a car wash, and our general manager, Bob Moore, was in charge of sharpening the uh, severe tire damage spikes in the uh, parking lot. It's called Southern California's best rock and roll station, 95.5 KLOX. From the FM, Southern California's best rock and roll, 95.5. K-L-O-S. So now I'm supposed to take over here and do this, is that right? Yeah, that's a semi-professional radio broadcast. You're on. On what? May I now present a cultured, sophisticated man about town. You rang. This is Mitch Laney taking over Southern California on 95.5 K-L-O-S Los Angeles. The widest variety with the best of the old and the best of the new. Direct from Compact Disc. I gotta tell you the truth, ladies and gentlemen. I don't wanna go, but if I don't get out of this chair, they're gonna drag me away physically. Johnny Hayes saying so long, and we'll see you tomorrow in the Big 11 Countdown Show. Stay with Hollywood, man, where is cover? Don't you leave me, Maverick. Hollywood, you looking good. 102.7 Kiss FM. Kiss FM, what do we got now, Randy? Hello, Hollywood Hamilton, we have two fabulous all expense paid seats. To see Howard Jones live at the fabulous forum. Come on now! Yeah, K I I S F M N A M Los Angeles now with the top eight most requested songs. All right, baby. Los Angeles. The top eight. Come on now. Four winners coming up on Kiss FM. Hello. I'm sorry. The sex of the person you are calling has been changed. Please make a note of it. That's what it says on the back, Art. Okay? And for those of you who are watching this uh, videotape in the comfort of your home or office, or probably the GM's office, right? He gets the uh, the videotape. Uh, hey, go ahead. Feel free to use the idea, because I stole it from somebody else myself. 94.5 Cool FM and Angela Midday's Allen playing a bit of variety with fewer repeats and not a single tuxedo on my entire body. I feel really underdressed today. We are just all the all-ball store. It takes a lot of balls to open a store like this. And don't forget, this week only... Get Jan Stevenson's new book, Golf Without Balls, for only $1.50. <laughs> I have a new soap that I've invented for people going to prison. What's it called? It bounces. <laughs> if I'd killed my wife when I'd wanted to, I'd be out of jail by now. <laughs> hey, you know what happens when Chinese get uh, erections? What? They vote. 105.5 WDHAFM Dover, New Jersey's best rock. Wow. This is more boring than CKLW. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Scott Miller. CKLW, the Motor City. What time is it? It's Miller time. How you doing, baby? I feel good today. Ooh, Gloria, ooh, hot sausage and mustard. Thank you, Dominic. Ooh. No, I'm good. <laughs> I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding about that. But a pair of blue she, jockey shorts? Yeah, she monograms things. And I, I think she, she does? Yeah. Well, at least they're yeah, large. She did, she, <laughs> I was wondering what size she got for yeah. you. And these are monograms? Yeah. yeah let are, me, let are, me are. I'm just opening them up to see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. Well, yes. Th that is my name. It's five o'clock. Yes. <laughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen, lock up your front door, lock up your wife, lock up your back door, and run for your life, because it's quick, quick, quitting time. Hi, this is Maggie McFarland, and welcome to the 4th Anniversary C100 Anniversary Blowout. The Z Morning 2, 4th Anniversary Spectacular, with your host, Scott Shannon and Ross Bertain. The Z Morning 2, on Z100. The Morning Zoo fourth anniversary special extended six hour birthday edition of the Z Morning Zoo. <laughs> I don't know why we allow this, but we do. He's actually a harmless guy, I guess, but it's just, it's really sickening that anybody would be into radio this much. I mean, 
we're not into radio this much, and we're in radio. Boy, Madonna stiffed me when she was in town. Royally. You got yelled at, too, by programming. Yeah. I was looking through my closet the other day, and I found my old Navy pea coat. I wonder why they call it a pea coat. I mean, I've never peed my coat before. Hi, is Bob in, please? Who's calling? Uh, Sammy Davis, Jr. Oh, hello, Mr. Jr. How are you? Mr. Davis, where is it? Uh, I'm fine. Um, Mr. Hope is not here. He's in jail. May I take a message? What is it now? The Reverend Jimmy Swagger doesn't think that God would run an amusement park. Is that, uh... That's right. <laughs> yes. He said God is not in the amusement park business. How does he know? He's, well, well, I mean, did, did a 900-foot-tall God appear to him, like, uh, to Oral and say, you know, I don't like corn dogs. I'm not kidding. Any holes in your world? I mean, information that's missing, facts, figures, directions, anything you might want? This is a service place called WGN. Where have you been? I've been over at the pump room greeting some people for lunch today, but use our place anytime you want it. If you have a question, stop by. 591-7200 is our number. Bob, how are you? I don't know what he means by that, but you can find out at 945. He's got a lot of stories to tell about Memphis. He's back. King B, Ron Britton, have a good one, Tulu, at Magic 104. Well, no variants here. Nothing but the oldies. Magic 104. Dick Beyond the Wild Italian with the Beatles. And in the nation's capital, the Grease Man has hooked so many listeners that in the past three years, his ratings have gone from 14th to 4th place. You know, you hear we got binarial disease from animals. Now, this one, AIDS from monkeys. Who was the first deviant pervert? Well, see, there is no truth to the rumor that Bill Cosby is going to have me on his show. Hey, this is Bill Cosby, and I'm saying whenever I'm in India, I'm listening to Super J. Market is. I got a WTLC America best on a TGIF. And now in Spanish, El Yi, El Yi. In French, La Yi, La Yi. In German, Hachi, Hachi. In Brooklynese, Hey. Cousin Bruce. Frankie Browning in the Four Seasons is our theme for Cousin Brucey back in the 60s. And we've been using it ever since. Hackensack CBB. Thank you, Hackensack. Cousin Brucey on CBS FM. This is 101.1, where every day, I think one of the best talents around this town, a young guy named Bobby Shannon. Well, look at there. Speaking of minds, it is 22 past 2 o'clock. I've got about 38 minutes of my mind left, and then you get a piece of Shannon's mind. In honor of that momentous occasion that. We all wish we could pay, what, is it a buck now per play? One set. Here's Olivia Newton-John, and please, Mr. Please, don't play B-17. The 8.7 KISS FM. Good morning. How are you? It's the Wake Up Club. I'm BJ Big Deal Steel. You know who you are, don't you? Good yawning. Oh, wake up and smell the coffee with Harry Harrison and the morning team on CBS FM. You mean it's 16 minutes to 8 o'clock already, huh? 7.44. Everybody got that holiday spirit, huh? Uh, good morning, good guys. Harry Harrison on CBS FM, South Brooklyn. Wanted that one again. A pleasure to play it for you here on CBS FM. Got your old good guy sweatshirt still, huh? A little frayed, a little warm. The smile is, uh, but it's still there. Okay, good. You see those once in a while. WNBC super hit time machine covering the great Northeast. WNBC. Music time is about all oh, seven minutes from the four right now. Andre okay. Taylor, Jeremiah. <laughs> The four times Clearwater Revival, Elvis Presley, Martha Reeves, and the Vandellas. The classic hits of the 60s on WNBC. Music. Go, go. Play it through. Right on. From Shelly Sunstein, Power 95 News. Listen to WPLJ, New York. Most music keeps on coming. All new, all hit. Power 95. Let's hear some of those big lies. It's three past eight o'clock. I'm Jim Kerr. This is Power 95, and it's going to be sunny today. WINS News Time 1011. I'm Paul Smith. It'll be News Watch never stops. This is WINS. You give us 22 minutes, we'll give you the world. Connecticut. When's your time? 10.37. Good morning. I'm Michael O'Neill. Power 96 FM. Oh, power. 11-year-old pop later. Yeah!
95. Good afternoon. It's 321. Good to be with you. I'm Tom McNamara. And from Michigan Emergency Patrol, we've got a problem out there on the westbound Ford Freeway. Good afternoon. I'm Byron McGregor, keeping you on top of the world. W-W-J-C-T-R-O-I. Part of your show, such as penal implants, can't get it up, huh? Let's get off sensational matters. That is, uh, in, that makes society worse than it should be, especially those dildos in the bedroom toy shows. I would only ask Mr. Dugan next time to send me a letter that fits on my toilet paper roll, and then we can make some use of his particular comments. John, this is Mary. Uh, I, this is my third time caller to you. Your third time? Uh-huh. Okay, when you call the fourth time, don't tell me, okay? Oh, okay. Thank you. Anyway, well, how come? Well, because you called enough, I, you know, I, I, I like you. You're a regular, and just don't, don't tell me how many times you've called. Oh well, anyway, I like your producer too, this Mar. Yeah, I know he likes you too. And the song about your first wife coming home. <laughs> oh, the bitch is back. <laughs> so I'm fine. All right. Okay, you're from Buffalo, Gary, originally, That's right? right? Which I you am. Grew up you. listening to you. You did not. I did. I did. Don't believe. I'm I worked, much older. I worked one station there. Did you really? Yeah, W-W-O-L. W-W-O-L. I put next to W in for you. Yeah, I was Guy King. You were. <laughs> this is Gordon Chinchay, 1990 News. Hickory Dickory Dr. Z has brought back the jocks. Radio station Z95.5 is bringing back the best bygone biggies to blast your brain with stacks of wax. Many of the DJs taking part in the reunion are now out of the biz and with good reason. The aging adolescents and hairless has-beens are bringing back memories of drive-in dates, record hop hickeys, and frustrated young newsmen who are always being told, I'm not that kind of girl. That's nice. Jim Oaks, that's right. That's right. Uh, sort of our... Sure, my sound alike. That's right. <laughs> Uh, my clone <laughs> and your driver. You didn't he just go to pick That's you right. up? That's right. He went to pick me up. Yeah, we had a great conversation, all one sided, <laughs> all the way here. <laughs> Hi, Casey. Hi, Jim. All right. All right. <laughs> Jill and Casey's again. I said, This is the number one street we turn on. <laughs> Going down two notches to number three. <laughs> I gotta tell you. You know, I'm not really a disc jockey, nor do I claim to be one. I'm just waiting for like that big gig to open up as a waiter. Okay. Earl is going to stick around until uh, Wait, somebody. Get a winner. Right. Okay, but Which, not past a certain time, because guys like to go home to bed. Yeah, to bed at 9.15 at night, I Maryland. I do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's when we start the party. Elvin, 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 Elvin. Here we go, taking off on another nonstop power play with salt and pepper. Power 104. Go. Chris Kelly. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You're not getting this right. Okay. You guys drunk or what? <laughs> Hackett in another hour of at least nine great songs in a row. Yeah. Notice that when you hit a post, you can't just take your headphones off. You have to rip them off your head and slam the microphone off. Watch yourself. You'll, you'll see. You do, you do that. You do that. I know you do. We're going to go back five years ago. Don't oh, you? At this exact moment, 608. 1983, when this radio station signed on the air. It's eight minutes after 6 a.m., August the 2nd, 1983. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, radio station WHTZ signs on the air. WHTZ is owned and operated by Malwright Communications and broadcast at a frequency of 100.3 megahertz. Signing on the air, this is WHTZ. Yeah. 
It's time to wake up. Stay tuned before eight o'clock. Time to get up, get out of bed. Get a cup and get a hit with Wakey 1260. Super Radio. Yes, this is the way it was on Wakey 1260 when you talked in the tunnel. This is called Reverb. And this is what they used when you were on the air. Lou King Kirby, how are you? Hi, John. I'm very good. How you doing? I'm just... Maybe we're overdoing it just uh, a little here. May I have your attention, please? We are here to announce that the show is over. Michael Bryan of the KLUC, number one in the music station. Morning, Blake's the Merrill here, Mark Gibson, television production. In association with the Useless Radio Incorporated, Mr. O'Brien's Cows by Bodwin Keller, who the only gardener does himself. Some of our two party contestants and wicked victims will receive a lifetime supply of gay rights to Roni, the San Francisco treats. <laughs> Portions of the program not affecting the company value, we've been edited for broadcast to save for another morning. Ashtrays happy by Art Wallow, Talent Circumcisions by Rabbi Jerry Dean, <laughs> generally managed by Keith Kirst. Yeah. The price of the prizes have been rounded off to make us sound big time. Randy was speaking almost incoherently through a pair of John Maravich's old socks. Stay tuned for days of our lives following next on most now of this same it's station. Time to say who were the circumcisions by? Uh, we simply just can't say goodbye, can we? No. Big thing. Big stuff. It's a Mickey Mouse show, don't you think? Be <laughs> real soon. This is Vegas, babe. Just can't walk out. I can't Why? talk that fast. <laughs> because we like you. <laughs>